Fellas, you want to take the elevator up to Delta Station? You need clearance first. Stand by. Remember that 800-page questionnaire we all had to fill out before we came to this planet? How the hell did Kovac pass the personality screening? He must have cheated, right? I mean, have you spoken to the man? Every time I look at that enormous head of his, I imagine a little alien inside operating at controls. Or maybe a super-intelligent lab rat. Ah, yes, my samples. I have an appropriate reward. Something to aid in your blood sport. Custom-made specialty ammunition. It's a hobby of mine. I'll forward the recipe to the quartermaster so a constant supply is purchasable from him. Just load your firearm with these and it probably won't take you so long to kill your quarter next time. Well, those samples you brought me were worthless. The Sapaya tea energy is not pure enough. So, let's keep looking. I'm sure the tea energy from a different breed of acrid will yield more promising results.
Hey, what's the rumpus, Jim? Nice. She'll pack a bigger punch now, though the trade-off's a touch more recoil. It's well worth it, in my humble opinion. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? Instead of shattering into shrapnel? Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting a good fight. Hey, Gail. You up to help me put a new tool on the rig? Sure thing, boss. With that component you salvaged from LaRoche's winch arm, I can upgrade your rig to spec. It's kind of what I do. Just plug any salvage that you find out in the world into the kiosk there and select what you need. Oh, and if you're ever low on salvage but flush on cash, I'm sure old Birdie can swap that for you. They don't call him the quartermaster for nothing. Get it? Yeah, me either. More shielding is never a bad thing. Not with the punishment you take out there. Cool. I can literally do that one in minutes. Hang on. Oh, you won't be disappointed. Now you can collect T-Energy without getting out of your rig. Big time saver, right? Alrighty, sir. Upgraded your claw arm with a brand spanking new winch. Premium bi-steel synthetic cable, high-end abrasion guard, precision CNC machine roller fair lead. It's compatible with the zip line attachment on your grappling hook because you're my favorite. And not just because LaRoche doesn't let me upgrade his rig. This this is the stuff. Now get out of here before I regret giving it to you. I'm <laughs> kidding. Love you. Enjoy. Don't break it. Oh, and because I'm the gift that keeps on giving, I cooked you up a T-Energy detector. It'll automatically recognize a thermal pocket in the immediate vicinity and translate the seismic noise into audio. Just listen for the signal and use it to pinpoint and discover underground deposits. Like a hot and cold game. You're welcome.
reminded to conserve until the purifier resupply in April. We could take some torque drivers and plant some helical piers at B-26 and K-22 instead. That should ease off some of the lateral load. I'm worried about the pressure. Well, we could take the gauges off A-5 and 6 since those are more or less stabilized. But I'm telling you, they're load barren. Throw some plates on there, anchor them down with cable lock, and we're golden. At least for another few days. That might work. It might work, sure. It might kill us. If there's a void collapse within 20 meters, the show's over. But what else are we gonna do? What about reinforcing B-28 instead? Put in some drill shafts to sustain some of the lateral load. It, it's within their tolerance at this height. Hey, Grace. Your last message made it sound like you were worried about my living conditions. Wow, don't fret, Angel. Take a look. Cozy, huh? I know she looks as cramped as the backseat of your old hatchback, but when the chips are down, you'd be surprised how much mileage I get out of a five-ton claw and drill. That's yeah, not to say she's all utility. I got all the creature comforts. Always got a couple pots brewing. There's a shot of you and Hank the day we brought him home. Bunch of maps. Eh, more maps. There's us looking dapper. And my shrine to you. You even got your going away present parked on the dash, you cruel, cruel woman. Uh, I gotta go.
executive decision, we are done waxing melancholy. I have news. Our son is walking. Well, he walked. Well, he took two steps and face planted, but that counts, doesn't it? I'll see if I can get him to do it on camera. Well, that sounds healthy, right?
Okay, since you asked, here's why my face doesn't freeze. My environment suit here? This was made by Nevek's smartest engineers. This is not cheap. It's got breathable fabric, adaptive heat loss insulators, windproof laminates, moisture barriers, and micropores. Then it's machine washable. Right. Now, these uh, heaters on the collar here, they do the heavy lifting of keeping my head warm when I'm in the elements. It's got its limitations, but keeping the noggin warm ain't one of them. So, is that wonky enough for you, or do I need to start talking about floral polymers? Pronus Actual, come in. I'm getting close to that massive T energy deposit. Looks like I'll have to use my new winch to get across this chasm. Hope LaRoche is listening. Use my ass, bet on that. Choke on your winch. Jim, remember when you get there. The bigger thermal pockets can overload your T-post, so watch your step. Yes, please. Don't burn up like a matchstick. Hey, LaRoche, how are those grasshopper pumps in the East Valley coming along? Complete mumbo. Almost done. Corona's actual out. 